And now it's time for our featured story of the night. Woo! Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody, <laughs> it's time for our featured story. So we're gonna talk about Mandalorian now. So just, you know, putting it out there, spoiler alert, everybody, a little bit of spoiler alert, because we're gonna do a little deep dive here. Season three has been going now. We just got episode three aired on Wednesday. So now it's out there, you know, so you probably had a chance to watch them now. If you haven't, then, you know, maybe tune out or maybe come back afterwards. We'll put little segments out later so you can see, but Mandalorian season three, episode three is out. And now they're getting a deeper dive into what's happening here with a backstory. Now it kind of happened like last of us where there's a whole different like spinoff episode where we get to go into like a whole different world. Now I got to tell you right off the bat, without doing too much spoilers, that opening sequence where they're like flying down and there's that huge chase, with the tie fighters and shit. That shit was awesome. That shit was sick. And some of the maneuvers there, like where they're just like Bo-Katan is like, Woo! and like moving the fucking wings like this shit and flying around upside down and like killing the thrusters and like fa- falling. And then like the people are like, what the fuck is happening? And then they're shooting them. I think that was pretty cool. But I think a lot of the episode was pretty sick. Now the season in general, uh, I, I think it moved a lot faster than I thought it was going to move so far without getting too spoilery. I, I, the whole Mandalore thing, I thought it was going to be a while till they got to Mandalore. And now we got the Mandalore like first episode. Like we're, we're at Mandalore, right? Mandalorian. How about DeLorean, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah DeLorean. DeLorean's fucking cool too. Um, but yeah, the, they get they get there so fast. And then they, you know, he gets R5 and, and, and from Amy, uh, Amy uh, Sudeikis. Not Amy, not Sudeikis. Sidaris. Sidaris. I'm just combining names now. <laughs> Uh, they get R5, and then he R5 is like, what the fuck, man? Don't put me on this planet. And he's like, get out there and find out if this planet's breathable. And he sends the robot out. That shit was kind of funny. There's some fun moments. But, little, little, my, little baby Yoda's kicking ass. I have a question for you, dude. How many energy drinks have you had? Are you okay? I'm I'm drinking this fucking Rockstar right now. Everybody, Wait, Cruise Control like tonight is brought to you by Rockstar. <laughs> Holy Christ, dude. I am going yeah. nuts right now. It's oh, been a long man. day. I've had so much coffee at work, too, on top of that. It's been a day. But... The Mandalore stuff, I think, is really cool in the first two episodes. We haven't talked about this at all, so I'm going to dive into a little bit. The, the Mandalore stuff is sweet. I like that. Bo-Katan kicks ass. I'm happy they brought her back. And I love what they're doing with her. And I feel like the way they're going, it's either going to be Bo-Katan. Is gonna, I think it's Bo-Katan. She's going to get like redemption, and she's going to become the man, the king or the queen of Mandalore again. I think that's where they're going to yeah. go. I think people expect it to be Jin, but I don't, or Din, I mean, I, but I don't think it's going to be Din. I feel like it's going to be Bo-Katan because it's like they've been really pushing like her heritage and like how they were in charge before and how it, the lore meant to her and her family and how she doesn't believe in it. And after episode two, I feel like now she's starting to believe it a little bit more. And this involves, you know, the mythosaur. So I think that because of the mythosaur, I think she's going to have a big change. And this episode showed that too because she has not taken her mask off. And that could really change things a lot. Now, Sabrina, you saw this too. What do you think about the season so far? Are you excited about where it's going? Are you happy about it? Or do you think that, uh, you know, you're disappointed? Um, I love the first two episodes. Uh, this this last, yeah, easy, buddy. <laughs> this last episode uh, was uh, not my favorite, if I'm being honest. Um, I, the beginning was super cool, as you described in such weird detail. Thank you. Uh, but the, the, <laughs> the middle part, where it was the people who used to work for the empire that are like being rehabilitated and working for the new Republic. Like it was just so long and so weird and so like unnecessary in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure obviously they're setting something up, but it just seemed like a really long setup for like these two characters who I could really give two fucks about. No, number one (laughs) and number fucking two. It's like, what is her move? Like what's her angle? I don't understand. She like she's like weirdly flirty with the dude for a while. Oh, that's and weird. Then like, and and even like when they got busted, the fact that they like didn't even question her. Like, so like was it a sting? Was it like a setup sting situation? Or like was she like I just I don't it it didn't honestly. I thought about it eight ways to Sunday. Like it didn't make the whole theory did not make sense to me. And then if she's recruiting people for Moth Gideon, which she probably she is. Might- Like, I just don't understand, like, why she's so in with the New Republic and why they were so cool with her being there by the ships. Like, the whole thing's weird. I think it's interesting her name was Cain, too. Her name was Cain. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's like a whole mythological thing with Cain and Abel, too. Because, you know, they come over there and you think that they're friends. And then all of a sudden, like, she turns on him, you know? So that her whole thing. Her name should have been to... Cunt, not Kane. Oh, she's a horrible fucking person. But, but Dr. Pershing, and then he was she in. She turns up, 
his thing at the end. Like, I'm oh, like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. Like, I don't, I just, it, none of it made sense to me. And it also seems stupid. And it was just, I don't know. I just, I'm, mm, I'm, I'm not thrilled about it. They're, they're mind playing him, by the way. Thank you, uh, yeah. Netflix. What yeah, was mind, was it's show? a little play on Stranger <laughs> Things there. Yeah, yeah. mind player. But, but Dr. Pershing, we saw him in episode one. It was episode one of Mandalorian because he was the one that was Working actually. Yeah. Work, yeah, but, but he won Grogu. He was one that won in Grogu. And then, yes. like, they brought. Yeah, it's the same character, same actor, everything. And then, you know, he ended up going yeah, over to the Rebellion what, now. That's or the I New mean, Republic. Like the, whole, the whole, like, it just. The, the arc doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure they're going to explain it, but I still, whether they explain it or not, there are still many questions I have about the way they went about it. And it, it just, it's very un uh, characteristic of Mandalorian for me to have those type of questions. They're usually very good at mapping things out in a certain way so that you're not confused or like, what the fuck? And I feel like this episode was not that for me, unfortunately. I think they're just trying to do a deeper dive, like the amnesty program. It's like they're trying to really get in to show yeah, that no, the people are, you know, that. leaving the rebellion or leaving the empire. And going to rebellion. They, that, okay. That, don't this felt like an Andor episode. This felt like an Andor episode more than a oh, Mandalorian totally episode. Yeah, you know? That makes sense. Yeah, but they had, um, it, was a long, it was like the longest episode so far this season, too. And it like really problem, dove into though, Dr. Pershing. My problem lies not in the development of him, not in what's knowing what's going on, and not in in, in Cunty's presence. But my problem <laughs> is, um, like when she was they, great in Ant Man, by the way, when they get him, you know what I mean? She was great in Ant Man. Like when they get him and they arrest him, and he's going in for this treatment and shit, and he's trying to explain that she betrayed him. Like how how did she, how is she so up on the pedestal where they're like, oh, she just. Like someone's like, oh, we're here at the ship. Like, come get us, but don't get me. Like, the, it, just the way that they went about it was weird. Like, I, she's obviously at the same level he is. They're wearing the same uniform. Oh, they yeah. have the same pin on. She touches that pin thirty five fucking times. Like, we get it. You have she a does. pin. Like, just stop with the pin. He has the same pin. So I don't understand how she is so in control where she gets this to happen. Like, it just I don't I don't know. I it was not it was not my favorite. I did like at the end that they that. I guess I don't want to spoil too much, but like then they button, they had like each end of the Boiler. episode started with Mandalorian <laughs> with, uh, with Din Djarin. Um, yeah. And then the middle was this like standalone type thing, you know? So the standalone type thing irritated me. The front and the end of the episode did not, of this past episode. But overall, I am happy with the season. There's a lot more Baby Yoda, which gives me great joy. He is my my favorite in the world. Um, and, you know, uh, Bo-Katan kicks some ass. Like a Bo strong fucking... It bitch she like saved Man mando twice when she um, saved mando it was her. awesome like twice. i mean she, she twice. twice but the, the first time was great like and the second time too but the first time was really great she came in there there was that crab creature and she was just like fuck this crab creature i'm going to save mando and mando was in that cage i honestly it was it was it was really cool yeah i was, was really great. excited about that and when she came in though like i had this picture right here she's like comes with that freaking she gets the dark saber too and she just fucking mm -hmm. whoops its ass yeah she, it's not heavy to her which i think is so interesting because like that's it's, that's uh it's Mando's like it's meant problem. to be like, he can't huh it's like thor's hammer yeah, yeah, but exactly. I feel like it's meant exactly. to be because because the whole thing too is like whoever it's has so the dark saber is the person that's going to run the Mandalorian. It's going to be the leader yeah. of the Mandalorian. It, so it will be her, and I think it's going to be her. And especially, like I said, like you know, she went into the waters with Mando and mm -hmm. uh, just to save him. So she was in a way reborn as well, like he was. And then she hasn't taken her helmet off, and they made a point of that too. And I think that's going to move forward. I think she's not going to take it off, and I think she's going to find a way of reconnecting with her past. And then eventually I would like to take over. That they're going to go back to Man Man Mandalore. Oh, they're going back to Mandalore for sure. They'll get that that what do you call him? This the you call that little sea beast guy something? The turtle the, giant. The uh, Myth uh, Mythosaur. Mythosaur. Yeah, Mythosaur. Yeah. 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 I think they're going to go there. They're going to get their land back, and then she will rule over her land again. I think. I that love this city. The city was so cool, even though it was all like all bombed and shit. I yeah. loved how it looked underground. And the fact that he starts walking down the steps and just drops, I'm like, yeah. fuck. I was like, Sorry. no, no. Spoiler no. alert. Fine. <laughs> so if you watch it. Uh, but yeah, I, I really think that, that the Pershing thing is weird to me. I guess they're tying it in from the earlier on in the season. So ideally, you would think this has been planned from the beginning to bring Pershing in now. But the idea that they're talking about the cloning stuff and people are saying online this is all going to lead to the Snoke clones and the Palpatine cloning, and this is all going to tie into that. Like this is how it started. This is how the Empire, the um, Empire. Well, they explain away like how how Palpatine came back. So that's where this is going to lead towards. And then Pershing will eventually turn back to the dark side now and go towards the Empire because of the way she 
mind flayed him, you know? So, and that, that whole system was pretty messed up. I'm like, that seems pretty bad. The New Republic's oh, like she's torturing people as it is. definitely part of the dark side, like 100%. Yeah, oh yeah, she's working for Moth Gideon she's, still. She's for 100%. Sure. Like, but, yeah. but I like, it just was, a, I don't know. I just, something did not sit right with me, honestly. There was also like, you know, they had those popsicles at one point, like his was blue and hers was red. Yeah. And, and you know, so there's like little things like that. Everything she had that was like red all the time. And they're like, oh, so is she dark side evil. or what? You know, evil shit happening. And in her red weird- pill, blue pill. Yeah, and her weird like <laughs> back and forth with him was just odd, like just really just like like weird flirtatious shit that didn't seem real, and then it wasn't I know, real. I was so like, what the fuck is going on here? And I felt it so bad for him weird. too because he just wants to do good. He wants to do good. He had this whole story about how his mother died from heart disease, and he could have saved her if and he had she his technology. Manipulated him into doing that so that she could fucking mind. Fly. I'm just, I don't know. I just I didn't like it. I yeah. didn't like this episode. I'm sorry. I'm not going to change my mind. Is yeah, but you're talking uh, three, 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 three. Yeah, one and two I liked very much. Three, not so much. The oh, yeah, beginning so and end I liked, but that middle, I just I, there was just something. This is the way, it right? It didn't make sense. It just I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't into the that side story of Kunti and Pershing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I just it's it's a big divergence from the actual show, but it has to tie in somehow. I would think, but. I don't know. Like I've been liking the Mando stuff, the Mandalore stuff. I yeah. like. I like. I I really like that dynamic where Grogu has to go, but has to like get on the plane and go get Bo Katan to come back and save him. It's pretty yeah, fucking that was awesome. Dope too. He's in his little, like, he's like, yeah, he's in his little scooter and he's like flying through it, his little scooter and there's like beasts chasing him and she's like, like, oh no, I got yeah, pretty, <laughs> yeah, bro, oh no, they're coming for me. <laughs> then he bitch slaps that one fucking guy with his hand. He's like, woof. This bitch slaps the guy yeah. across out of the cave. He's like, yeah, whatever. He's like a caveman. Yeah. He does this like. Just whooped his well, ass. When you can cool. destroy the universe by doing this, you have to be yeah. calm and collected. So. Jake, you're, you're a fan. The- you're. You're a fan of uh, of of uh, Mandalorian though too. Based, I know I know you haven't had a chance to see it yet, so I feel bad we're spoiling a little bit for you and probably some of our fans out there. But uh, does this make you excited about what do you think? They get the Mandalore really fast, and then they dive right into the story. It's pretty quick. Um, what yeah. you've heard so far, are you excited about it or what? Mm-hmm. I'm almost <laughs> more curious about season. Like I'm I'm almost more curious about the third episode than the other two because it sounds like. A contrast or like something happened like what is yeah. this thing there's a shift and i don't i mean it's been so good and so consistent up to this point there has to be a reason for it it's a so, setup but i just don't feel yeah. like they fleshed it out it's a, properly. It's a setup yeah it's a huge do you, setup. The, do you feel like the fourth one will help with that do you think i hope so makes, yeah they almost have to eh? <clears throat> i'm yeah. excited i'm i've been i've had it like you know you pull the app up on your tv and it's like it's right there. Where you go watch now, and I just I just haven't hit go because my <laughs> wife and I watch it together. So oh, I watched the first season without her, and then I waited for her to watch the whole first season. And then we watched the second one together. So I don't want to plow start this through one it, probably right. She, yeah, so I'm, I don't want to start this one until she's ready to watch too. So my question is though, did you watch the book of Boba Fett? I won't say anything. What? Yeah, yeah you yeah, watched the book that. of Boba Fett. Okay, good. Because if you don't watch the book of Boba Fett, you'd be pretty confused. You because miss honestly, some stuff, yeah. a huge stuff. You miss a lot. I mean, there's like a lot of Grogu stuff that happens there and bringing them back together. So if you didn't watch mm-hmm. the book of Boba Fett, you'd have you'd be like, what the what the hell's happening? You know? Because all of a sudden, yeah. little baby Yoda and him are together again, and it's just like out of nowhere. But mm-hmm. the fact that's why they're so integral. They still they still tie in. But to me, I mean, I think they're doing a great job. I love I love little little baby Yoda. He's so good in this shit though. He's kicking ass and. I just love like the scene where he's with, uh, yeah, I love Carl when he's, Weathers. yeah, when he's in the chair with Carl Weathers and he's just spinning himself around using the force yeah. in the first episode. He's like, Wee! <laughs> he's just spinning himself around. <laughs> there is just, a lot more of Baby Yoda. There's a lot of like, fun. I love, I'll take all the uh, girls I can get. Or even the ship. the only like, thing that wears a tunic I would ever actually trust. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. You, I trust the shit out of Baby Yoda. And, yeah. there's like, and, then, and when the ship and Bo-Katan's like being chased and she like drops, he goes, Meow! and he like closes his little pod and he tucks mm-hmm. it in. <laughs> it's just, it's just too good. It's just, he just, yeah. it, he's just too good. I really think his that his first cool. words, yeah. his first words are going to be, this is the way. And I feel like he tried to say it. I feel like he tried to say it in this last episode. He was like, I you know, I'm like, it's close. I know you're trying to say it, Baby Yoda. And I'm waiting for it. He's already got his Mandalorian like armor underneath, you know. This is the way. Uh, I don't know how he's gonna talk, yeah. but you know, something like what that, did you, you know. Say? This is the way. <laughs> yeah. Eat your peas. But Eat your it's peas. been a lot of it's been a Not lot of fun. Eggs. 
this I, like we were saying this this episode has been a little a little bit of like outside, but you know they still bookended it, you know, with with Mandom. And I feel like that it's just going to, that whole plot has to mean something. They gave it a lot of time. They gave it a lot of time. They gave Pershing a yeah. lot of time. So he must be a bigger part or Kane's a bigger part moving forward. I don't know, but the whole Kane thing, like, I wouldn't have trusted that bitch right away. Like he just gets there and she's like, why don't we do something that's against the law? And he's like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm like, Cause you got me biscuits. No. I mean, no, I, the biscuits don't matter. I'm not going to trust him. And she ate a biscuit while she was like flaying oh, his fuck, mind. Like, fuck listen, up. Cunty. Mm, fucked no. up. Mm-hmm. You I know? see you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something, but uh, yeah. I don't know. I think, you, you know, you know, he, an evil bitch the whole time. He knew she was doing something shady, but like just the way it came to fruition, it's just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. That is not the way. A, I hope. No, it's definitely not. I hope that the next episode like fixes it. Like Jake was saying. Yeah, I think that we're going to be have a lot more Mando in the next one. And I think we're going to tell a sidebar from that whole story, but I think they will bleed back in probably another episode or so. But they're just, they're just putting some groundwork for something. And of course, we know that the next season, season uh, four is already written. Uh, John Favreau put that out. They were season four, they're ready to get going on that soon too. So I think that they have some kind of cohesive plot to maybe wrap yep. this up. Maybe, or maybe it'll go. I feel like they're not going to keep going forever for this. I just don't think they will. They're really setting it up. And I think I see where it's going, especially with the whole, like going back to Mandalore and, and getting back to their roots. I think eventually they will get back there and the mythosaur will be a big part moving forward. I think so. Yeah. It's exciting. I know people are like back and forth about right now and it hasn't had the high, as high as ratings as they used to have because Mm -hmm. some people were confused because they didn't watch book of Boba Fett, but you know, honestly, give it time. I think this is already off to a good start for myself, and I think it's going to only get better. 